lot, but you know, really it comes down to each and every one of us. Uh, I was able to connect with Seal last night, the voice behind the Wiz Kids uh, account from time to time now. Uh, you might know him from other projects or whatever the case might be, but I've known him personally since I entered the space back in January. Um, and you know, he always says, uh, I mean, it, and it's a paraphrase of, of John F. Kennedy. Uh, well, I'll say it just like him so everybody will get a chuckle out of it. <laughs> Stop asking what your project can do for you and ask what you can do for your project. Um, it's so true. It is so damn true. When I was thinking about what to say, I didn't even write anything down because I do it every single day. And it's like, I just got to kind of think about what I do. And I'm in the business of building. Like, I don't, I don't know, man. I transferred a shitload of stuff into cold storage last night that I don't plan on ever selling ever unless it's going to be a gajillion, babillion ETH floor, which I do believe it is. But I have no, I have no hinkling of ever leaving the communities. I have no hinkling of, Anything in between, like I thrive off of being in the communities, talking with people, vibe and hop and going around and you guys will see like in person, I'm, a, I'm more of an introvert with people I don't know, but like people that I already know, like you guys, I'm the same wild, goofy, insane son of a gun that I am on spaces. So, you know, it doesn't take a rocket scientist just to reach out, to show up, to as as nerve wracking as it is, is oh my gosh, if you come up on being somebody on a team, if you come up on a stage and you go out of your way to say something or ask a question or compliment somebody, people's minds will be blown and you might fuck around and have a spot on a team or end up as a mod or doing something more, having conversations with somebody that you never knew you'd have conversations with. I got to shout out my ether brews, man. Bro, crew! Got to shout them out one time because that community, you want to talk about a community, man? And people sit on space all the time. We got the community, man. We got the community, man. You want to talk about community? Holy shit. Through the thick and the thin, the high and the low, the cells, the, the weeks, the days and weeks stacked up of no sales, the days and weeks sales, everything flying off. Like that, the ether brews are bananas. And it's why I've stayed around. It's why I stepped at the plate and have decided to become a permanent member of the team for life or wherever it sends me or wherever it goes. I mean, I got so, if you guys weren't at the trade Tuesday last night, just talking to Duncan and all of the things he learned and talked about at NYC and, and, and just his mindset is what it's all built around. This community is just long-term vision, long-term growth. And how do you build a strong community? Literally focus on the long term stop worrying about how can you flip this now and this here and this and that and that and then like i know i always preach up and down like stay in the moment stay present stay calm regardless if it's good or bad just stay calm because it's bound to change really soon but at the same time like you also have to see that long-term vision when you're playing with investments i mean i i keep saying it anybody who hasn't heard it Investing is a contact sport, and if you don't have enough padding to survive a couple of hits, then you shouldn't be in the game. That's point blank period, my friends. Point blank period. And if you don't have the mindset right now to be attacking floors and getting out the biggest broom you have with everything in your being, not just random floors, but floors you care about, people you care about, how do you build strong communities? Get all those shitty toilet paper handers out of time and you make the diamond hand stronger. Anytime I get an opportunity to sweep a brew, I do. Anytime I get an opportunity to buy more Chads and Brads, I do. Anytime I get an opportunity to buy more Woke Zombies, I do. Anytime I get an opportunity to buy more Respected Rhinos, I do. Why don't you? You want to build a strong community instead of sitting on the outside trying to say, oh, well, the founders aren't doing this and the team should be doing this and have you guys thought about this? Why don't you ask if you can assist in any way? Because I think we're forgetting that, yeah, these projects are centered around community, but sometimes the community can help out too. And these are businesses at the end of the day. And if you want to change your life, step up to the plate. Step up to the plate 
and literally go out of your way to do something for the community. Because once again, to bring it full circle, I promise you it doesn't go unnoticed. I promise you it doesn't go unnoticed. You can talk, you can talk to founders, team members, up, down, left, and right, projects from the blue chip down to the, the 50 layers of shit. It doesn't matter. They will tell you if a community member steps out of their comfort zone, does more shit for the project than the average day-to-day -day Joe that just buys one, doesn't see the floor go anywhere, and sits in the Discord bitches all day. If you do more than that, I promise you it'll get noticed. And if you want a long-term future, if you really want to talk about community, then these are the steps you got to take. You got to be different. You got to be willing to step out of your comfort zone. and and do what the average won't do because if you do what the average won't do then you'll receive what the average don't receive 